A very good day to everyone and welcome to the Foundation in Science at IMU Live Talk. My name is Sharon Chan and I am the Deputy Director for Foundation in Science. With us today, we have Ms. Saraswati, who is the Senior Lecturer in Foundation in Science. And along with us, Ms. Maisara, also a Lecturer of Foundation in Science. Well, Ms. Uh, Saras, would you like to, um, can you please tell us a little bit about Foundation in Science in IMU? Definitely, Sharon. Hello, everyone. Our Foundation in Science program serves as a vital transition from secondary education to university life, offering a comprehensive curriculum designed to equip students with the essential skills and knowledge for their chosen degree course. This program mainly focuses on SPM and IGCSE graduates. This is a one-year program consisting of three semesters, with each semester comprising 14 weeks of intensive academic engagement. There are actually three intakes, April, July, and September, and these are designed to tailor the release of SPM and also the IGCSE results. Once the student complete the one-year foundation course, they can directly pursue their preferred degree course. Yeah, mm, I mm. see. Mm. And um, would you now be able to also tell us why should we, why or why should students choose foundation in science in IMU? All right, actually, Sharon, let me elaborate more on the uh, IMU Foundation Program, which has a span of three semesters, featuring five subjects, which is including core science subjects, such as biology, chemistry, and mathematics. Meanwhile, the sub skill or professional module include computing study, thinking skill, and etc. And we are very committed to provide a comprehensive foundation that prepare you for the journey ahead. Now we will delve into the details and list out all the module in the upcoming slide. Maybe we can go into the most important part, Sharon, which is understanding how we assess your performance. Now, in our assessment method, include a balanced blend, 50% allocated into in-course assessment. Meanwhile, the remaining 50% reserved for the end of examination, where we call here as EOS. Now, in-course ass assessment is actually your coursework, includes practical, assignment, test, and etc. Now, Let's jump into the degree course. IMU indeed has a comprehensive array of 12 health sciences degree options, includes both local and partner track, featuring a direct entry into our esteemed partner degree program. Yes, Sarah. Yes, my Sarah. Actually, the progression rate of our foundation students stands at an impressive 85% for your kind information, which is about 5 100 students transitioning successfully to their preferred degree course, while the remaining 15% of students pursue elsewhere as our foundation is well accepted in local and also some private, univers so, uh, private universities, even in some public universities such as UPM, UM, and also UKM. Notably, our program accommodate students who may choose to switch from science to art stream, broadening their options for their undergraduate studies. This course is preferred entry to our degree students because the students can benefit from informative briefings and engaging uh, besides on hands-on activities related to the various degree courses available at IMU while they are in foundation. This exposure actually empowers the student to make informed decision regarding their academic pursuit in their chosen field of study for your kind information. Students can apply for IMU degree courses right after their semester two. You know, my Sarah? Hmm. Very true. Wow. Okay. Um, and what kind of teaching method do you employ in foundation in 
Well, or, well Sharon, for the uh, teaching method, we do have some continuous assessment, uh, such as class tests, mm. end of examinations, practical assessment for biology and chemistry modules, reports as well, assignments, projects, presentations, and also reflective reports. Students can actually engage in this assessment either individually or as a group, fostering a collaboration and also teamwork skill, which is substantial for their academic and also for their professional development. Okay. Um, what about their, how is experiential learning emphasized in IMU? All right, Sharon, might be I can answer for that. Actually, beyond the continuous assessment, uh, I would like to elaborate more on our unit teaching and learning approach. Now, alongside a traditional method, we embrace a self-directed learning where the individual take charge on their education journey. You will notice that a sync session in your timetable, providing flexibility to learn at your own pace and tailor your own method. Now, indeed, self-directed learning is one of the good experience learning but we are mindful of the potential challenges associated with it, such as the feeling of isolation, right? Now, to address mm -hmm. this, we have incorporated a collaborative project into our in-course assessment. Now, this project fosters teamwork, presentation skill, writing efficiency, creating a dynamic learning environment that encourages peer interaction and support. Now, absolutely collaborative. Teamwork is a key, but let's mm -hmm. not overlook the continuous assessment aspect. Now, this ongoing and systematic process is a cornerstone of our evaluating approach. Now, unlike traditional summative assessment, continuous assessment occur regularly throughout the learning periods. Now, this goal is to provide a timely and constructive feedback to both students and educators, Sharon. I see. And um, perhaps I think just now you mentioned core subjects. Um, maybe parents and students would want to know what exactly do they learn in this one year? Would you be able to explain further? Yes, of course, Sharon. Why not, right? Now, let's delve into the intricacy of the IMU Foundation program structure. Now, each semester offers a thoughtful blend of core science module and professional module, creating a well-rounded educational experience. Now, in semester one, foundational subject includes chemistry one, biology one, mathematics one. Meanwhile, English for academic purposes and computing study constitute the professional module. Now, success in semester one is compulsory, meaning student must pass all modules to progress to semester two. Evaluating is based on 50% in course and 50% end of examination. Now, those students might face a challenge, might be they are failing in EOS. Don't worry, a second chance is provided through the receipt examination offering opportunity for redemption and continue the progression alongside your cohort. Now, if you're moving to semester two, the curriculum contains chemistry two, biology two, and mathematics two, complemented by the English for healthcare professional and physics for health science. Now, a common question often arises from the student, does semester two examination include content from semester one? Rest assured, the assessment focused solely on semester two materials. However, the incorporation of general knowledge ensure a cohesive understanding throughout your academic journey. Now, the most important part is in semester three, where you almost graduated for foundation. We have two types. The first one is compulsory module, includes biology three thinking skill and cross-boundary studies. But we also have elective where you need to choose two elective from four. What is the four module? It's a chemistry tree, bioscience, psychology, and the applied statistics for data science using Python. Notably, this year, for those students who like to continue medicine and dentistry, we have made bioscience as compulsory, sadly making you to choose only one elective from the remaining. One last question, Sharon. They might ask, what is cross-boundary studies? Now, yeah. yes, we 
only not focusing on academic, we try to foster a well-rounded skill. Cross-boundary study is actually introduced students to cooperate into social responsibility through engaging group projects, might be community event or charity events such as fundraising. Now, this holistic approach to educate extend beyond academic skill and emphasizing a sense of social responsibility and community engagement towards our students, Sharon. Mm, I see. Thank you so much for the elaboration, uh, my Sarah. Mm, maybe I can uh, throw you ladies some frequently asked questions which parents will probably have. Um, the first one, which a lot of people are curious about is, is IMU planning to have a non-science foundation program? Mm, Cheryl, what a fantastic inquiry. Actually, I'm delighted to share some exciting news. Yes, we are currently in the process of securing approval to launch a brand new foundation program in arts, anticipated to open enrollment for September 2024 intakes. This program is tailor-made for students aspiring to delve into undergraduate study at IMU, such as digital health, psychology, and even nursing, Sharon. So stay tuned for more updates, and we look forward to welcoming an eager mind to this innovative program. That's very interesting news. And um, I think the other concern which students will have is um, how packed is the timetable and the academic calendar? Maybe Miss Saras, you are able to um, elaborate on this? Well, Sharon, our foundation classes actually starts at uh, as early as 8 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m., typically five days a week. However, there are days where the students have breaks in between their classes, where students can actually carry out their group discussions, revisions, and self-study in campus, as our IMU campus provides a dynamic and interactive environment with wide range of facilities for its students so that the student get the most benefit of it for their study experience. Yes. I see. And um, maybe one last question before we wrap up. What are experiential learnings that students will be getting if they are not sure what degree program they want to pursue in? Mm, Sharon, a very common question from the student. Now, rest assured, throughout your journey in the foundation program, you will immerse in a series of captivating sessions, which we call as Look, See, Feel. Now, these sessions not only grant a first-hand experience of undergraduate program, but also offer valuable insight into potential career pathway. Now, additionally, for specific degree program, we do host an open chat session with respective undergraduate lecturer presenting student with the opportunity to delve deeper into the course of it. Not only that, Sharon, we also have a buddy system provide a unique avenue for students to connect with our fellow alumni from the foundation program, offering them a closer first-hand perspective. Now, this personalized communication enhance their understanding and aid in making well-informed decisions about their academic journey. It's very assuring, I believe, yeah. for parents, especially if their children do not know what they want to pursue. Oh. Thank you so much for your elaboration and your explanation, um, Miss Saras and Miss Maisara. Um, I think with that, um, that's all for our session today. If you have any further questions, do feel free to uh, contact us at this web page. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you. you. Hope to see you on board.